Hey, Will, thanks for coming in. As you can see behind me, it's, it's a very open, free type of environment where people can have easy chats or communication or collaborate in the, in, the, in the center table to get stuff done. We have the ability to jump into a small room to take a call or have a couple people meet in the, in the, in the uh, in, we'll call it Josh's box behind me. And, uh, and if that's not enough or somebody just wants, you know, a complete change of area, we have the access across the hall to central as well as upstairs where there's larger rooms as well as just different spaces to, to grind and, and, and get stuff done, whether it's an individual or some number of people. Well, Kelsey, I'm here. Um, but I love when Kelsey does come and join the queue. Uh, always a fun day. And I think that she should reclaim the queue or the space. I don't know. What else can I say about Kelsey? Um, but yeah, she did. What did she do? So Kelsey was the first person I met at Cressa and the sole reason why I am here. Um, I remember meeting her and I was so nervous. I was like, always wanted to be in real estate. And this was my first meeting with, you know, somebody around my age that was actually doing this. And um, she really inspired me to, you know, take those steps to actually make the jump. So thank you, Kelsey. <laughs> I'm thank gonna you, Kelsey. cry, I'm gonna cry. Thank you, BSO, I don't have anything good to say about him. Uh, Blake is the man. Blake is on top of it. He's dialed and everybody likes Blake. Uh, what can you say? There's nothing bad to say about the guy uh, other than his rolled up jeans that he uh, shows up in the office every now and again. And Connors is known for several things. Over organization. So each file has to have seven subfolders. They each have seven subfolders. There's no less than 57 clicks to access any file. The other thing he's known for is just generally being a robot and using sort of a monotone voice and always being in the weeds. The other thing Connors is known for is Bailey, and we all love Bailey. And Bailey has a lot of personality, he's a great dog, barks a little too much, kind of chewed on her fence, but generally is well respected and loved. Just, uh, do we go through the questions that you've kind of presented or just let it be? Would you like to okay. go through the questions like they're listed, uh, or you just want to have no, a no, I'm going to step out of my robotic step out of uh, settings. But hi, I'm Sean Connors. I've been with Cressa for uh, six years now. It's been quite the journey. It started with Sean Heaton and I, which was uh, very fun and exciting. Um, we were learning to do just about everything from um, you know operational, administrative stuff to the actual projects that we work on, and uh, and all in the midst of that trying to recruit and build the team that we have now. Um, I remember those days just constantly pinging Mike and Blake, getting lunch with them, trying to sell them on coming over. Um, and that was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was like, I think for probably a month straight every morning, hey, did you hear from Mike? Did you hear from Blake? What's the status? What do you think? Where are we gonna be? You know, and that's, again, like picture two of us in an office built for, you know, 12, and we're, uh, we're just imagining people at each desk. So it's amazing to see what we have now with a, and an awesome team, um, great people, and it's been it's been quite a journey. Oh, Jessica and Josh, wow, they uh, they they are about as different of personalities as as you could have, but they complement each other absolutely perfectly. Uh, Josh is uh, Josh, Josh is super matter of fact. Uh, but in a friendly, constructive way, and and Jess is is kind of the the softer side of that. Both are you know very production and goal and solution oriented people, but the way they go about it is is completely different. Connors is literally good at anything that he does. Um, like he juggles. What else do you do? You build a wall. Build a wall. Yeah. Snowboard. Tennis, golf. Yeah, golf. Guitar. Yeah. I, I've never been so impressed with someone, uh, someone of his age. I like, I always feel like he's older than I am, but he's not. But he's not. <laughs> I want to have a drone fly over Portland and basically cover the central, the central city and then Pearl slab town in the central east side as well just to get a nice overview of of what's going on and waterfront we'll definitely add to the production value 
Oh, I think it will. The video. I mean, part of that's going to be, yeah, for for uh, um, either intros or outros. I think is one part, and then I think the other piece is like as we start highlighting certain buildings where client where we've got clients or we have prospects looking, you know, we can start doing pop outs of each of these too. So, you know, we could do the drone up top. And then as we come into like a Google, you know, we could use the Google Earth to do it or the video stuff and like dive into the street level, you know. There's there's some really cool things I think that we could do with that. John Ellinger. So we'll have uh, we'll have John fly it um, and then we'll start using the uh, using the footage.